So unfortunately, there is a portion of the community out there, which includes myself, that has dealt with the severe anguish of accidentally deleting an exotic that probably took you a very long time to get. And as you saw by the title on the thumbnail, when that takes place, you're in that moment, you're thinking, what just happened? Actually, that's not true. You're probably thinking, what the f just took place like did I just do what I think I did and it is absolutely soul crushing in that moment now the good news is that every previous seasonal exotic is in the general loot pool regardless of if you played that season or not now you know here at the channel I like to give you examples so I'm using my PC character and as you can see in the upper right corner I'm at shade level 17 and I have not completed any season in this game on PC now you're probably wondering why do you have the game on PC it's so I can take part in the PTS whenever those happen but the point is this I have never gotten a single Single seasonal exotic with this character and as you see in a moment I did get the coyotes mask to drop that is from season one and subsequently season five and the reason I wanted to show you this is so I can walk you through the steps of what you want to do the moment you get an exotic you've been trying to get for a while now the first thing is go into your inventory market as a favorite and yes I know I'm in the middle of a countdown run but that is going to take me less than 10 seconds to do and more importantly it will ensure that I do not accidentally delete the thing which is the entire point of this video I want to have help you avoid that mistake. Now the next thing I recommend is go to the base of operations, speak with Anaya, and buy the blueprint for the exotic that you just picked up. Now this brings us to the next phase of the video, and that is what is the blueprint actually used for and is it connected to these items dropping in the open world? And the answer is no. And the reason I say that is I was able, it's like the chicken or the egg, right? I was able to get the exotic, which then and only then gives me the ability to buy the blueprint. So now I have the blueprint. Why do I need that? That is so I can reconfigure the mask if I want to. Now I'm going to give you an example of what takes place when you reconfigure an exotic because there is still a lot of confusion for new and returning players. So to put it bluntly, when you reconfigure an exotic, you destroy the one that you currently have and you are creating a brand new one. You are not creating an additional one. So always keep that in mind because when you reconfigure, your mask could be better or it could be worse. Now, typically I would not reconfigure this mask because it's a pretty damn good role. But again, I want to show you exactly what takes place. So I've decided, okay, I'm going to reconfigure this. I want a better role and it gives me a warning saying, hey, it's marked as a favorite. Do you still want to do this? So again, you do get that warning. And you'll see in a moment that the new mask I created is worse than the one I had. Now remember that first one is destroyed. It gave me this one. So I'm going to continue to reconfigure until I get one that I'm looking for. Now when that takes place, I need to once again go into my inventory and mark the mask as a favorite because remember I created a new one. The old one is destroyed. Now I've marked this one as a favorite. That way it cannot accidentally delete this. Now the other reason I put this video together is because many people out there have been reaching out to the channel since year five season one began because we know with St. Elmo's engine, the new exotic assault rifle, when you reconfigure it, it gives you a random third attribute. So a lot of people are using a system they've never used before. They do not realize you have to once again mark it as a favorite. And like I said before, unfortunately, that has caused a lot of players out there to accidentally deconstruct something that they did not mean to destroy. And that sucks. Now, when we're talking about this season's exotics, once you've gotten them from the current season, seasonal reward track they are then put in the general loot pool for you and you have the ability to farm for them again if you accidentally deconstructed it but once again like I said earlier every other seasonal exotic including the ninja bike including the catharsis including the mento whatever it is that we had in a previous season you do have the ability to farm for obviously I wish you nothing but the best of luck and as always if you have any other questions comments or feedback please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can now as I start to wrap this video up I want to once again remind you that when it comes to farming for certain things in the game, it is all RNG. It is pure luck. I know people out there who get nonstop ninja bikes and all they're trying to do is get the memento. And I know as I say that statement, a lot of you are thinking, well, that's a bunch of bull because all I'm trying to do is get the ninja bike and I get a Costa's go bag. So again, to be very, very clear, it is completely and totally random. The exotic that you're going to get either in the open world, even if you're using targeted loot or if you're opening an exotic cache, I recommend trying to farm in a group. If you can let people know exactly what you're looking for, use random matchmaking. Because as you've heard me say countless times at this channel, one of the best things about this game is the community that surrounds it. So definitely reach out to other agents because there are so many people here to help you, whether you're realize it or not. On that note, I want to take a moment as always and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and remind you, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.